you know the deal i've got a wheel full of genres that i don't really know how to make so let's spin the wheel to see what we're gonna learn to make today and if there's any genres you want to see me add to the wheel just make sure you let me know down in the comments oh oh hey okay okay i'm kind of hyped for this soul sample wow now we just need to learn A lot of ninth and suspended fourth chords. That's kind of sick, actually. And then after that, I went into the voice of the soul and I put down these chords right here. No, what is that? I need that. Voices of soul. Is that a contact bank? How much does it cost? Woo. It's on sale. All right, let's make a beat. So for BPM, we're going to want to go with something a lot slower. Like, I don't know. Let's go down to like 86, I guess. So for my chords, I'm going to start out with a six. Make that a seventh. So it's going to be a major seventh chord. And then pretty common progression for soul is then to go to the five. You can drop that down to the four right after if you want to spice that up. And then you can resolve back to the five. Just out of curiosity, how would this sound on the three? I don't want to go to the five quite yet. So maybe we, we throw in like something in between here. And to get some depth on the piano, I'm going to layer these bass notes down an octave. And now we really need to spice this up, like give it some pizzazz. So like just kind of throwing in some, some little stops with the piano like this. We'll just kind of bring this back together and using those suspended fourth chords is good for soul samples too and then you want to throw in some kind of like little accent phrases over top and it's okay for this if you get some stuff off grid that's perfectly fine you want it sounding very natural anyways and decorate the piano up as much as you want now it's super important to humanize this so you can strum your chords. And you can also use the humanize tool. That's pretty clean. Once you have that initial chord progression down, pretty much the rest of it is gonna come down to layering. So I'm just gonna layer my chords with this organ. Now I wanna make this organ like really wide, so I'm gonna use spreader. You can also layer your chord progression with some strings, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just kinda layer the top line mostly. Yeah, something just kind of like that. You can also layer your chords with a vocal. Oh, that's so beautiful. That's gorgeous. Top that low end, you're gonna want to throw in a bass. And you kind of want to get a little bit funkier with it. do I'm gonna 
change the key I'm in. And then I'm also gonna wanna throw in some kind of vocal phrases. With the vocals, I feel like it's all about trial and error, to be honest with you, too. Now, all of my sounds are sounding pretty dry, so I'm gonna throw a reverb on pretty much everything. And to get more of that vintage vibe, I'm gonna throw RC20 on there, too. Another big thing for soul samples is throwing in a drum loop. I'm gonna render all of these out, and I'm gonna pitch everything up a little bit. And then now that I have them all in the same track, I'm gonna put some compression on it just to glue the sounds together. I'm gonna lay this out like a loop. Yeah, I want it to drop right there. I'll cut everything here, kind of. Sweet, now that I have that, I'll make a new pattern for some drums, and I'm gonna speed this whole thing up to be way faster. I'm just gonna keep the hi-hat super simple. I'm gonna keep it super basic. I'm just trying to find like some basic perk sounds to throw in here. And then with like an accent snare, let's do something really basic. I don't know if I want to do some panning here, but maybe. And then on my snare, I want to get like a higher pitch tonality, so I'm just going to pitch it up. We got our basic trap drums, we got our soul sample, we just kind of got to lay it down. 